Welcome back, everybody. Today, we are learning about a company called Globally Brighter and the Learn School. Now, the focus is on the correlation between mental and physical health, and here to tell us all about it, we got to bring in Dr. Carla Garjaka, who has, by the way, the best shoes. <laughs> we were just saying, we need a shoe cap. Yeah. <laughs> How are you doing? Good morning. Good, good morning. It's so good to be here. You yeah, know, it's a this, pleasure. this is a topic which I was just talking to my friends about the other night. Um, we're talking about mental health, you guys, and I want to know a little bit about mental health and how have you observed you know the prevalence of mental health concerns evolving in recent years and of course what factors do you believe contribute to this increase yes yeah, so this is really important so we have been seeing a significant increase on mental illness right and there are so many different factors that we have to take into consideration of course mm -hmm. the pandemic it's what a huge one right uh, social isolation diet exercise, sleep yeah. pattern, there's so much, but you know, that we have to talk about and address whenever we're talking about mental health. Right, okay, uh, you know, could we piggyback a little bit on that? Could you provide our viewers with some examples or insights into how mental health impacts physical health and of course vice versa, illustrating, yeah. you know, the interconnection of, you know, both mental health and the brain? Yes, so let's talk about that. This is my passion. You know, as a psychologist, I really, we really need to understand and my role to educate parents and the population, mental health is totally and deeply connected with physical health. Of course. Uh, so we cannot just see one without the other. So the gut-brain connection, all the research that we have been doing and whatever we're learning right now, it's so important. So whenever you're going to a psychiatrist or psychologist, or even if you're having migraine, yeah. right? It yeah. could be related to the food or your sleeping patterns or lack of exercise. So we have to take a whole look at your body. The brain is connected to your body. We cannot just, you know, put it apart. No, for sure. Yeah. And, and sometimes, and we were talking about this too. Um, we were talking about this in the lobby before we actually came into the yes. studio, how, um, some people, and I, this is just my opinion, you guys, how some people prioritize physical health more yeah. because of what they see online, right? Yes. So they're they're like, oh my gosh, I want to have you know the smallest waist like that person, or or be as buff as that dude. Yes. But you get stressed out trying to look at that person, <laughs> and then that's when your mental health takes a backseat. Yeah. 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 Um, let's talk about you know the the different lifestyles or factors you know mm -hmm. that can improve or play a significant part in um, improving mental health. Yeah. So let me. I'm gonna address my top five. There's a lot of them, but my top five, when we talk when we talk about physical health, it's not just about how you look, right? right. It's how you feel. So let's first start with sleep patterns. We all know that we have to sleep between seven to eight hours a day. Mm -hmm. um, seven to nine, but usually the quality of the sleep is much, much more important than how long, because some people sleep for 12 hours, they wake up, they're still tired. Uh, in the recent research, we are finding that eight out of 10 people actually feel that they're not sleeping well. So mm -hmm. eight out of 10, so the majority of us really struggle. So sometimes we drink a wine or do something to sleep and that does not really help the quality because during your sleep, you are detoxifying your body. You have to feel refreshed. Yeah. We, we have, we're cleansing, we're hydrating our lungs, our heart, everything. Yeah. So it's really, really important. Factor number two is hydration, mm -hmm. right? Water, water intake. So again, taking a look at the numbers, 87% of us don't drink enough water a day. 80, yeah, so it's a lot. So we drink coffee, we drink uh, tea, we drink juice, soda, but water, it's something that doesn't, it's not part of our daily practice. And water, just when our brain is only 2% dehydrated, we already feel the symptoms. Oh yeah. We feel like, mentally fog, I'm exhausted, I don't have the, you know, I don't want to do anything anymore. Even you don't want to wake up because during your sleep, you're dehydrating. That's why you go pee the first thing, right? Because right. your brain is washing down everything. Third thing, diet. Yeah. Food is so, so important. Mm -hmm. So the way you nurture your brain, it's based on the food you're eating. And when you're talking about food, you're either nurturing your brain right. or poisoning your brain. You know what, let's, uh, let's pick it back on food real quick because um, I want to show everybody what you have in your hand. Uh, you have a book. 
that yes. you wrote. Okay. Yes. Now this is, you guys, this is called, you can just hold, yeah, you can show our viewers. Yeah. It's yeah. called Recipes for, here we go. Recipes, Recipes for, for the anxious, anxious mind. mind. Okay. So let's talk about, um, you know, mental health diet real quick. Mm -hmm. um, could you talk a little bit about your book and what foods we should consider, you know, keeping in our yes. system? Yes. So in my book, you know, we have here. This is one of the best pages, the best and worst foods for our brain. So number one, we have sweetener, sweeteners, sugars. Number two, coffee, <laughs> believe it or I not. Know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because it dehydrates our brain, alcohol, soda. But the best foods, we have lentils, right? We have beans, quinoa, eggs, chicken. Fish, fatty fish, right. sardines are so excellent because our brain is 80% water and 60% Fat. Right. We need fat. And we're not talking about the fish, the filet fish from McDonald's fat. No. You know? We're talking about healthy fats. Okay, so that's 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 really good. Um, yeah. Where is your book located if anybody wanted to purchase it? So it's on our my website. We you can find on Amazon, Barnes and Nobles, our website. We sell here in Hawaii. So if you are in Hawaii, you can, you know. I can sign for you as well. So you can find in many different places and can be shipped directly to your home. Perfect. You and want. the website, you guys, it's called thelearnschool.com. Yes. Um, and just to kind of wrap up our interview, so the top three things that you guys should think about for your mental health diet is drinking a lot of water, fatty fish, um, which you suggest sardines. Sardines is my favorite. Sardines. And wild salmon also. It's a wild very salmon. good fish, right. fatty and fish. And dark leafy greens. Yeah. Dr. Carla, thank you so much for coming thank on Living you. in 08. Um, you guys, we're going to have a little bit of a wrap up on kh12.com so that you guys can get the full cliff notes. Yes. <laughs> thank All you right. so much, Dr. Thank Carla. Thank you so much.